Welcome to the ninth episode of The Exponential Files, a show dedicated to providing you with all the answers to your questions about eXp Realty and this changing real estate environment. I'm Larry Laufer. We are hosted each week by CEO of Castles Unlimited team at eXp, entrepreneur, musician, and celebrated author, Jim Lowenstern. We like to start the show each week with a story, a fable, an idea that might trigger a new thought, something actionable for you today. It was in 1869, and in a faculty meeting, one indignant professor and doctor said that after 80 years in this faculty has been managing its own affairs and doing it well, it's now proposed to change all our modes of carrying on in the school. Charles W. Eliot answered it quickly. Change was afoot. New President Eliot found the educational and religious systems of Harvard completely encrusted with traditions. But he was fearless enough and able enough to break through them. And as a consequence, that Unitarian College of 400 students under his brilliant leadership became one of the greatest of, of, that we know today. What's the point? The point is, the future is always right now, even back in 1869, and it's how you're aware of change, how you see change, you move to adapt to new, new ideas, or you will be lost. The real estate industry is changing. It's a stodgy, old-minded business, as there is. Well, besides bankers, lawyers, and insurance agents, the evil triangle of our financial lives, I digress. Adapt or die, learn and grow, or continue with the old ways of communicating with your clients and you will lose your share, slowly, painfully, and inevitably. In the show today, we're going to talk broadly and specifically about the shift in this real, real estate industry and what it means to everyone but most importantly to you. And then we're going to talk about sponsorship into eXp and what you get for what you give. But first, I want to introduce, we have a special guest with us today. Uh, Rebecca Huang is a seven-figure commission. You heard that right. Um, she is a brilliant agent. Uh, welcome aboard, uh, Rebecca. And we're hoping you can tell us every single one of your secrets. Can you do that? Sure. Maybe I'll write a book and you can buy my book online. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, thank you for having me. And I'm happy to answer all your questions. Well, that's, that's good. Um, Whoop. We should also we should also add to that that list uh, for Rebecca that uh, she's an influencer. She was our uh, top agent uh, last year. I, I would assume she's going to be our top agent this year, um, with a um, incredible number of transactions. I mean, last year I think it was a hundred and fifty five or or more transactions, which, um, I mean, uh, at EXP, they, they call that icon status times, what would that be? Icon status times like five, which, which I, I, what's that? Platinum level. She is I mean, platinum it, level, yeah. but, uh, but uh, uh, Rebecca, uh, yeah, but even palladium, but uh, uh, Rebecca's uh, new to EXP right now, and we'll have her back and talk about EXP uh, real soon. She was interested in knowing a little bit more, um, and we were talking before we started. Uh, there are some hoops to jump through when you uh, embrace all of this new technology. It's kind of overwhelming. One of the things that's true, though, is that uh, everything's connected to everything. And you have the ability to uh, like take a note and all every part of your database and your social media marketing, all that, it's all connected. But um, I want to get back to Rebecca. Um, Rebecca, uh, 
how many clients do you ha talk to in a day? And how are you uh, not promoting yourself, but how are you getting your word out? How did it, all this happen besides being beautiful and working hard? <laughs> Thank you. Um, first thing come to me, the question, um, I think every broker in the business have their own niche, right? And you just have to know yourself really well. And uh, focus on how to come up solutions to help your clients. And what I focus is that I focus focus on a large community, which are the first, second generation immigrants here that I provide solutions to help them secure deals, uh, buying homes in here. Do you speak both Mandarin and um, um, what is the other dialect? It's not Mandarin. I do, Captain. yeah. Cantonese and Mandarin. Cantonese, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't and understand Mandarin. them. And Mandarin, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I love the movie. Oh, that's Mandalorian. Uh, so that's not right, right? Anyway. Um, so, so the other thing, um, beyond just the actual uh, transactions, um, Rebecca has. Um, a little uh, a little team developing a couple of agents um and um you know going back to um just the uh the way exp has sort of rewritten how real estate brokers uh I, I guess sort of interface with the brokerage community and create new uh ways um for their businesses to be profitable and successful. Um, she's already uh, seeing the, the benefits of that because of her, I don't want to call it a downline, but you know, her team, you know, and, right. and that's going to grow, uh, right. I'm sure. Uh, and who knows, maybe she'll be the broker that um, opens up China. You know, China, China, I think we have Japan, we have Hong Kong. I mean, Hong Kong sort of like the gateway. Could sure. Be. Could be. Yeah, we're, I, not gonna I, brain, we're not going to brainstorm here, but I'm, I'm going to yeah. help her. Good, good. Um, that seems like a worthy goal. Um, it sounds to me like you're pretty busy right now learning all of the, the things. Is there anything that, that you're having most difficulty with that maybe we could answer? So when it comes to EXP, right, and I'm so glad that my office is really supportive. Yeah. And I'm still learning. And, yeah. And I'm a learner. I learn every day. So yeah. thank you for having all the support, especially our um, branch manager, Danielle. She's supporting me every day. I'm talking to her every day. Whenever I have a question, she's there. So yeah, hopefully in the next two or three weeks, I can fully hands on with the new technology when it comes to EXP. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, it, Danielle is great. When I talk to her, the only problem I have is that she's not talking about to me about what my problem is, but the next two problems I'm going to have. And I say, wait, 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 I, let's fix this one first. <laughs> So I mean, uh, the other thing you did last year, Rebecca, and I, I don't know how many properties you actually um, own and, and, and lease out. And uh, I, I'm, I'm sure you have a, a nice portfolio, but uh, you also did a, um, a renovation, sort of a, 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 fix, a fixer upper in, yeah. in Cant, Canton. That, yeah. that, was a, that was a rewarding experience. Yes, yes, definitely. It was a big project. Um, at, the, at the beginning, it was really overwhelmed because I am not a very experienced uh, uh, project manager or builder. So, but I, I like the business, you know, I have a huge passion into the real estate market. And I know there's a lot of money can be made in real estate. So yeah, it was rewarding, although it wasn't easy, but it was very rewarding. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I think in, in real estate, um, besides tech companies and some of the biotechs, um, m most of the millionaires are made in, in real estate. Um, and it's always a mark of wealth. Um, uh, I was talking to an agent who had worked 
for um, Oprah for 20 years. And she now she's a real estate agent in um, Nashville. And on on the show, Jamie Foxx was on the show with Oprah. And he had just finished the Ray Charles movie that he had done. And uh, Oprah asked him, um, what are you going to buy? You know, now that you have all this money, what are you going to buy? And uh, he turned it around to her and said, well, you have a lot more money than I do. What's your favorite thing to buy? And yeah, without what should I buy? <laughs> yeah, Oprah, because well, you have the answers. Don't ask, yeah. don't ask the questions when you know what what I should do. Well, yeah. her her response was land because they're not building anymore, you know, and land and real go, estate. Go to go to Greenland and, and tell me they're not building anymore. <laughs> 50,000 people and like a billion acres. Uh, it, it all depends where you look. If you look in downtown Boston, that's one thing. But uh, I get land, I think it's called Land and Ranches magazine. I, 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 I love it because I'll, I'll look in there and uh, I was thinking of buying uh, a, a little 11,000 square foot lot in Wellesley, Massachusetts. And it was almost uh, a million one. And then I look uh, in some part of Colorado, and I love Colorado. You, you can buy like 300 acres with a beautiful house on it, but not much more. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's all relative, you know? Yeah. And, and the pandemic showed us, um, you know, there, there really is an, another way to do business. Um, and, and you can do it from anywhere. I think one of the interesting innovations is artificial intelligence uh, being a, a part of we, uh, our website is part of the KV Core system and the KV Core is used as the leading uh, website developers for generating leads in both the real estate industry and the insurance industry. Two businesses, professional service businesses that need to generate leads. So we have that. So one of the ways the AI works in, in this is you set up your client, they want three bedrooms, two bathrooms, you know, and, and they want it to be in a cul-de-sac. Well, you can search for that and send them just that. And so you look around, because most people begin their search a larger area before they kind of narrow down. And um, this thing, so this person's picking that house and that house and that house and the computer without you doing anything is understanding, hey, they're looking in this quadrant and that's what they begin feeding them. You so know, sort of like, so let me get this straight. So KV Core has AI built into it. Yeah. So it's like, if I go and buy granola on amazon.com or sneakers, it's We're talking about say, real estate. I, I know, but that's AI. So yeah. I can understand it. It's yeah. going to come up with suggestions. So it's yeah. going to tell Bob, who's my customer, hey, Bob, you know, you like these properties. You might consider this one also. And it's going to pop up on the screen like the sneakers or the granola. I uh, Exactly. And how it, how it works for me is I put all of my buyer clients into this system and uh, it alerts me, meaning my, my system alerts me on my phone. Hey, Bob is looking in, you know, in Brookline and is interested in this house. And I don't have to, I always oh, looking at Brookline. I didn't find that for him. The AI find it, I found it for him. Um, and they got the ping and I got the ping that they were doing something. But isn't this just very similar to, I mean, a, a search, they're looking for a house between 800 and a million in, um, in Newton, for example, and it just sends them all those listings. That's not AI, that's just a, a regular search. And, and As opposed the, to, hey, you were looking at those and those were fixer uppers, maybe you're putting money into them to improve upon them. Maybe you want this new construction for 1.2. That would be AI, in, in my opinion. The, the way it would work in Newton, Newton is, is a town with 13 villages. Uh, 
So uh, you are looking more in Auburndale than you're looking in Newton Center. So it's going to look for more in Auburndale. And when they come up, you're not looking for it, but the computer is on. And when it comes on, it sends it to your client. That's what it's so, doing. So you had a website before KV Core. Did you shut, shut that down and you're all in on the KV Core website and CRM? I am almost all in. Both of them are still up. I'm I'm three months in, so I'm I'm uh, I'm generating far more traffic on the KV Core than my. I, own. I would suggest you don't shut down the websites if if you can, just sort of I don't know maybe bring the KV Core over at some point to the. I'm gonna, uh, never, I'm never lose the URL. It. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to DNS it, uh, a domain name server. So you go into the back end. I don't know how to do this. I know how to explain it. Um, and you just point that URL that I own to my KV Core site, which has my name on it as well. Let's go to Rebecca. Rebecca, do you have a website that you direct your customers to at this point? Yeah, so I don't have a website, but I'm working on it. And I feel like I can't. Constantly... Because you, you realize you have a free website now. Uh, this you have KB the website Core. we're talking about. Yeah. 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 You, yeah. That's yours. And, you, you... and, and what we're going to do now, uh, going back to Danielle, she was tasked on knowing everything about Skyslope. And she is, she's the EXP Sherpa. So now she's also the Sky Slope Sherpa. And the next thing she's going to be is the KV Core Sherpa so that she can help us all build. Well, Larry, you're, you're kind of the KV Core expert at this point. I'm working um, on it every day. There's a, it, it, uh, I do not have everything connected. There is so much to connect. But yes. So, so we, we've considered that, that we should do a show where for like five or 10 minutes, Maybe you can do a screen share and take people through, okay, this week we're going to talk about the KB Core website. This is what you do first. Right. And not get too into the weeds where it's a, because that, that becomes a problem. Like if someone only has the attention span of a, of a fruit fly like myself, that you can't, you can't do more than five or 10 minutes. But if we did that every week, It'll be a reason to tune in every week, of course. I'm thinking of that. But mm -hmm. truly, we'll get people used to how, how the whole system works and, yeah, I, improve, and improve their businesses. Sure. Sure. I, I, I have made copious notes on the things that made me feel stupid. But when you learn new technology, it always takes longer. But the thing about what we do it's the same 20 things over and over again. You need these seven documents. You need to do this. You need to, there, it's a process. And, and once you learn how to uh, embrace the technology, uh, it feeds you and makes your job easier uh, because of the technology. And I so think the, that that's a big shift. So the KV Core website that you have, can can I can I take a look at it? Is is it up yeah. and, and running? Yeah. What's the uh, URL? Uh, I think right now it's whatever uh, KV Core uh, gives you here. Oh, okay. So it's on like LarryLawford.com. It 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 will be my brand, which is your stories Realty Group, uh, and that's the website that'll come over. But when um, you want it just to be your name.com? No. No, Not your, you know, Larry. No, yeah, yeah. Well, it is my name. The Your Stories Realty brand is my brand, um, and it has been, as you know. I mean, that was one of the reasons why I came to Castles. Rebecca, uh, what's um, what's your website URL going to be? I should have it for you, like in the next. You should. Next you, you, you should. You should. Working on it. You should get it. You should get it quickly. Don't mention it on the show because some enterprising person will buy it and try to sell it back to you. You got it. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be as paranoid as that, but, but, um, you know, well, actually, psych- you have a, oh, oh, you, have, oh, that's an email. I'm just trying to think, Agent Rebecca, but that's a, like a Gmail or something. Right, right. But right. maybe try to get the dot com for that if it, if it exists. If it does exist, that might be the one to 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 you. I guarantee you, Rebecca Agent or Agent Rebecca, Re- Rebecca Sells, you know all that at gmail.com you, know, you, you never know but what i always do when i'm i'm looking like for this is a perfect example the exponential files.com i honestly wrote like five things down and they were all five available so yeah that, that's very very rare though but mm-hmm. this has a lot of letters in it uh glenn sanford uh, and i finally figured it out so glenn is the ceo of exp world holdings so that's also verbella which is the yeah. um, metaverse technology yeah. that's success magazine i guess they also have um and maybe you are the one who told me this larry uh success mortgage yes and there was one other one it was a success business i don't remember or, that I or, remember or success insurance i mean the, the yeah, there is a success insurance. Yes. Yeah. The stuff they've got going on behind the scenes and we're all tied into that. I mean, if we know insurance agents or mortgage brokers that don't know anything about the company and we bring them in, we, we get paid for that. I mean, it's, it's quite nice. Well, that, that dovetails into the sponsorship and what you get, which is, you know, all the time we'll have today is that, you know, uh, um, I felt when I started because I was a Keller Williams agent before and recruiting was part of it because, you know, you would make residual income from it, that it always felt like, Hey, come over and I'm going to get some of your money. And it, and it really isn't that it really isn't. It comes with responsibility. And that responsibility is to also to mentor you, to show you, to take the time with you, to let you know, how you can be successful using these tools because these tools are brand new, you know, and. So what I was, what I was saying, I got sidetracked a little bit uh, and Jason guessing, cause I always thought, Oh, maybe they're just co-CEOs. No, Glenn is the guy that is the CEO for everything. And Jason is the CEO for um, EXP Realty. He, he's actually a, a Massachusetts guy. He has a place down in Falmouth and a place, I think, in maybe Newbury or Newburyport, but he's up up close to New Hampshire. Um, and, and you're right. It's uh, the sponsorship, I believe, and this is how I think it, it, it's a little different than KW, because when it's not franchised, which the company isn't, and it's revenue uh, and not profit, the money is guaranteed. I mean, it's it's not like, well, sorry, they just didn't make any money, so therefore you don't make any money. And I think that's pretty much how the KW, I mean, I, I could be wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong, but if there's no money and it's profit sharing, well, it's, paid, right? it's, it's a little more insidious than that. It's down to the franchise. So a, a franchise owner could have one, two, three offices more. And, and um, if it's a franchise owner, you could have one office that's doing really well and another isn't the way they look at that. When you, when you talk about uh, revenue, which is top line and profit, which is below revenue minus expenses, there are two different numbers. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't, uh, want, I don't want to dwell on that because sponsorship is less about the money and one point nine billion dollars is a nice thing to dwell upon. I mean, <laughs> and, and it's really changing people's lives. I mean, truly. So when we talk about sponsoring people, it's not so much that we're trying to make money. At least in my in, and that's why I wrote uh, the book. Uh, I'll just promote it a little bit. Uh, it's going to start being sold online. Um, hopefully in the next uh, week, uh, your million dollar month in real estate. Imagine a company that actually created a system where agents are making that kind of money monthly, whether they work or not. So it's, it's, it is a little different than what's ever been invented before. 
or, or dreamed of before. Well, as we started the show, the, the, um, the industry is changing. By the way, that story came from a, an archive uh, edition of Success. Um, a lot of good because articles. I was, I was wondering where that. Yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, here we go, right here. The yellow oh, that's is. Not the, that's not the cover. Oh, that's the article. That's the article. Impressive. No. It came from yeah. that article. I, I, got, I, got, I got my issue uh, in the mail. And I was like, wow, do I have to pay for this? This is a really nice magazine. And I, 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 guess, I guess we all get it. I don't know how I have enough time to read. You know, I need the information. Hey, um, Rebecca, um, do you do social media? Do you do like Instagram or Pinterest or TikTok? Uh, I thought you guys forgot about me already because you guys were going back and forth. I'm just no, we it. want you to interrupt. <laughs> That's that we're only here to be interrupted. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, to answer Larry's question, um, I just started to get myself more into uh, marketing because I constantly try to find a way to um, promote my business and I yeah. feel like I'm not doing enough. But marketing, it's everything. I just hire a guy to help me with marketing, just open my in Instagram account and, and Facebook account just to promote my, promote my business. Yeah. And what kind of images are you using? Are you using uh, you out, you know, at different houses or are you using house pictures? What, what pictures are you putting up or are you using? So, from what I am looking at right now, we don't have much on the social media yet, but uh, we are just using the house that has been listed on Zillow or Redfin.com. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not quite sure. I mean, there's so many different platforms you can use and, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I think I'm too old for TikTok, um, but uh, TikTok is kind of a storytelling one too. Uh, do you have any impression? Do you watch? Do you look at the stuff? Do you look at Pinterest? Are you on Facebook? So I do look at TikTok a lot. And one of the things is that it's so addicting. It's very addicting. I, if I want to put my business in TikTok, I would need to hire someone to do it for me. Yeah, to put together my information, my, my marketing stuff on TikTok. But uh, Pinterest, not so much. Yeah. Yeah. And I, right now I want to figure out how to build a system, right? So that I can focus more on myself instead of just like, like every day running around. Yeah. And so that's why I'm trying to figure it out with EXP, how to, how to build a system where I can have more time for myself and then I can still, um, generate the same right. or even more income right right yeah well i do just you, mentioned do you yeah, have I, any go ahead no i just uh, i had mentioned earlier that they you know not having to do a search but the but the computer doing this helping me with a search you know because i'm not always paying attention i'm not always i get 500 emails a day you know if that system sends me an email i'm not going to see it for a couple hours so um, uh, I like that it's working for me and that saves me time. I don't have, I have to sit down at my phone or my computer and do that searching for that. Yeah, I need to look into that. Yeah, that's we, that's. We are, go ahead, Jim. I was say, we are, we're uh, investing in um, some very, um, very good technology that will help you, Rebecca and Larry, mm -hmm. both. Um, uh, it, it'll it'll be presented probably in the next week or two, but it, it has to do with internet marketing and it's kind of intuitive and it kind of is a good reminder for all your past clients. And it's also, um, it, it presents messages to agents that you want to attract. I mean, it's, 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 it's the next step. It, mm -hmm. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, and, and like all technology, you just have to have a vision of what you want to accomplish first. Right. And then, and then use the technology. 
because there's so many people selling so many uh, widgets and, and gizmos these days that uh, a perfect example is EXP was presented to me 10 years ago and the people who were presenting it to me didn't know enough about me and didn't know enough about the EXP platform and, and what it could do to present it properly to me. And that's kind of like the reason I wrote the book. The book is, oh my God, I had no idea. And I think I'm just scratching the surface of it right now. And then there's moments I go, oh, this is overwhelming. And I think, whoa, 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 slow down. Remember why you're doing this. You're doing this because there's nothing better and you always want to be the best. You want to be the best, in my case, for my agents. You always want to be the best for your clientele. And that's why we're aligned with this technology. EXP is not so much a company as it is a network of brokers using this amazing technology. And um, they just passed 80,000 agents this week. And they're looking at that like this is just the beginning. We're, I mean, there's millions of agents around the world and it's the better agents more and more that are coming to the company. And it's not because of just the money, it's the technology and the network. It, we, we have an agent he hasn't joined yet and I'm looking at the closing file just yesterday and there it is, an EXP agent. And he's like, oh, we should probably talk this week about EXP. This agent was so amazing. So it, it was kind of uh, reassuring that uh, this is all going in the right direction. And this is a very, very important show, Larry. Right? Yes. Why is it important? It's important because we're now bringing our agents into the show. So Rebecca, you can share this on your social media. You can let your agents know, hey, I mean, you're, well, yeah, the agents that you work with and um, your clientele, I was on the exponential files. Check this out. I was on the, I'm the first agent ever on their show. It makes it, first, it makes it a first really, guest. really important, important show. Yeah, first guest, because both of us have licenses. So well, we yeah, we are people, and I and I noticed Rebecca. What does your your hoodie say? Human. Oh, yeah. Human made, yeah. What uh, what's the? I, I can only see the human part of it. Oh, human made. Human, oh, human made. Oh, human made. I thought you were just trying to remind us that you were a person too. Hey, Rebecca, thank you so much for, for giving us the time. I know how busy you are. We it's, a lot. It's, it's been an awesome it's show. Been... Hope thank to see you, you again. Rebecca. Thank you, Larry. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. You Bye as guys. well. Bye-bye. <laughs>